An arms cache found in the Eastern Cape and Correctional Services Minister and Public Protector lock horns over Derby Lewis. Good day to you. A man has been arrested after an arms cache was found at a house in Stonesburg in the Eastern Cape. Police say four rifles, three revolvers and more than 500 rounds of ammunition were seized. Forensic experts and investigators have been called to determine the source of the weapons which may possibly lead to other fines. The man will appear in court tomorrow. The Correctional Services Minister, Nosa Fiwe Mapisan Kakula, says she's puzzled by the public protector's interest in intervening in her battle with convicted murderer Clive Darby Lewis. Reports say the public protector, Tuli Madonsela, wants to mediate between the two parties after Darby Lewis lodged a complaint with her office. He was convicted of the murder of SACP leader Chris Harney. He wants the state to pay for his medical expenses at a private institution. However, the minister says according to the law, inmates who want private health care must pay for it, including the costs of security at the institution. ANC Chief Whip Matole Matsecha says an honest mistake may have led to the two dissenting members of his party not to vote for the Protection of State Information Bill. On Tuesday, Ben Tarak left the Chamber of the National Assembly shortly before voting started on the bill, while Gloria Bormann abstained from voting. Motsecha says both were using an older version of the bill in which they based the decision not to support it. The fact that, in my view, they were using a 2010 document, a 2010 document would be full of contradictions which were subsequently addressed through engagement, submissions and so on. The ANC Chief Web says both will be given an opportunity to explain their position to a committee of the ANC before a decision is taken on whether the matter should be referred to the party's disciplinary committee. Fisheries Minister Tina Jomat peterson says a multi-million rand tender given to a black empowerment company is one of the largest in the maritime sector. The 800 million rand service delivery agreement relates to the refurbishing and servicing of eight state-owned maritime vessels. It will benefit 20 small, medium and micro enterprises in the Western Cape. The minister explains. The consortium, which includes shipbuilding and other broad-based black economic empowerment groupings, will, for a five-year period, they will conduct technical maintenance, infrastructure and personnel support to eight state-owned research and patrol vessels, including the Algoa, the Sarah Batman and the Ellen Kuzwai. Health Minister Erin Mutsuladi says government is making progress in reducing the transmission of HIV from mother to child. He was speaking in Parliament during a debate ahead of World AIDS Day. The good news is that transmission of HIV AIDS from mother to children has been halved between 2008 and 2010. It is now at 3.5 percent when it was 8 percent in 2008. Two of Egypt's most senior generals have apologized for the deaths of demonstrators and protests in Cairo and other cities. It's the first time the ruling military councils offered an apology since the confrontation began. Major General Mohammed Al-Assad. I'd like to offer condolences to the entire Egyptian people and the regret and apology of the entire armed forces on the tragedy that occurred, as well as the souls lost and the young people who were wounded. Well, the military councils also confirmed that parliamentary elections will be held as scheduled on Monday. The top story, a man has been arrested after an arms cache was found at a house in Stainsburg in the Eastern Cape.